Okay, this is the live the second time because <laughs> we tried to go live like about five minutes ago, but we didn't mean to, and there's just a whole, anyway, so yeah, no, I'm not even drinking yet. Anyway, hi, hello everybody, <laughs> maybe we're going to get this one down pat. Okay, so welcome to My Left Frying Pan. Today on the show, I'm going to do winter cocktails because, you know, it is, uh, it's a season to celebrate or, you know, whatever, and so I'm going to make... I'm really discombobulated today because, okay, two things. First of all, you know, the bit of the thing at the beginning, but my husband was up all night sick. Like he is so sick and I know I'm getting it because I have this like really horrible headache and and like I actually feel like a bag of dirt with a belt on. But you know what, the show must go on and and uh, so if I run out really quickly, nobody, nobody panic, okay? <laughs> all right, so the first thing I'm gonna make is uh, I'm gonna do a mulled wine and I'm gonna do a whiskey sour um, in honor of my father because that's what he used to make at Christmas time. Okay, so we're gonna make the, the uh, we're gonna make the, what am I talking about? We're gonna make the mulled wine first, okay? So you need a really good bottle of red. Don't be buying like the crapola stuff, okay? You wanna get the good stuff. And so you just pour it into a non-reactive pan. This is really important. Actually, it's a skillet, not a skillet, it's a saucepan. Um, and uh, it can't be aluminum or it'll taste terrible, okay? So I poured that in, and then we're gonna make all the stuff that goes in it. Now, it always needs a little bit of sweetener. I'm just gonna get a spoon, because I thought I was so organized and now I'm not. Oh yeah, we're gonna do the draw for the, uh, the Breville stand mixer and the, the cookbook later too. So I'm gonna put in, I'm not gonna measure it. No, I better, no I'm not, no. You know, you, you need about a quarter of a cup of honey or sugar and that's about a quarter of a cup so we're going to add that in there then you're going to turn on your burner but don't boil do not boil this because you're going to boil the alcohol away and then what's the point of drinking this so anyway well i mean it's going to taste good too but so we're going to just want to melt the honey up and we're going to simmer it so it shouldn't go ever never to the boil okay so that's the honey and uh the in the recipe we'll post later so it's a quarter cup it's a 250 ml bottle, or is this more? It doesn't even actually say. Anyway, it's one of these, yeah, 750. Did I say 250? <laughs> okay, 750 mils, or one of these big wine bottles, and a quarter cup of honey or a sweetener that you wanna put in. And then you're gonna add uh, your, your, your flavorings, okay? So we're gonna have cinnamon sticks. Gotta have cinnamon sticks. So usually recipes call for two. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put in three because I really like cinnamon. And cloves, some whole cloves. And you know what? This is just a brand new bottle that I bought for this because if you put in old cloves, then it's gonna be old, okay? And you're not gonna have the same flavor. And it should go, oh, you should go, whoa, is that ever clovey? And I'm gonna put in eight, okay? So two, four, and six. And the reason you're counting them is if you put too much cloves in, basically what will happen is that all the spit will be sucked out of everybody's mouth and that would be a really bad thing. And then we're gonna put star anise in, okay? Now, um, it's got kind of a citrusy, kind of kind of licorice-y, citru it's really lovely. So we're gonna put just one of those in because they're really, really strong too. And then if you want, you can put in a vanilla bean pod. Have you guys ever seen one of these? So this is what vanilla is made out of. This is why it's like, I think $400 a bottle now because vanilla, they had some kind of storm in Madagascar or something, I don't know. I could be making all that up. Anyway, but so I'm not gonna slice it open and get the, get the actual seeds out. I'm just gonna put the vanilla pod in, okay? Now, you can throw it all in there as is or you can put it in one of these kind of, this is for like a cider, I bought it. Look, it's got a little apple, a little apple on the end. So you could do that, that would be really pretty. Or you could put it in cheesecloth. Whenever I open this up, I always feel like, I am the mummy, let us do it, a mummy, a mum. Oh yes, okay, so you could do that. And that works out really well. Or you can just throw it in and fish them out. I'm gonna, I had scissors, come on, I had them. We were looking for, oh, there they are, okay, good. Okay, I got scissors. So, uh, all right, so I'm going to cut the, the cheesecloth up. <laughs> I know people are watching this because they think I'm going to get loaded on camera. Yeah, yeah you know, Kimberly because... Rose is laughing and she loves your snort. Oh, well, okay, well, sorry. <laughs> I have a bit of a cold, and uh, I took a sinus, uh, like a... I, I took something for a sinus headache, and I think that was a bad idea because now I feel kind of stunned. 
where so, do you buy cheesecloth? Oh, you can get this at any, um, most larger grocery stores will carry it, usually in with uh, the cooking stuff. Um, sometimes you'll find it for whatever reason in with the wrapping, like the wax paper and stuff. Oh no, don't boil. Okay, we've turned it down. Do not boil this. Do not boil this at all. You just want it to be simmering. Oh, it's like getting a wine facial. It's really lovely. Okay, so I'm going to put all these guys in my cheesecloth, except for the vanilla bean pod, okay? And then I'm going to tie it up. And here's a little tip. You want to use, it's called butcher's string, or you don't want to use a kind of a string that you would maybe work on a car with. So here's my good story about my sister. She's really funny. And she doesn't cook as much as me. And so this one time she was making Christmas dinner and she said, Mayor, how do I, uh, how do I tie the legs together? And I said, oh, just go get some rope, you know. And I, when I said rope, I really should have said um, butcher string, but I didn't. And she used orange bungee cord. And she wrapped the legs up with orange bungee cord. And the gravy was orange. And my dad ate it because he's such a wonderful man. Anyway, he did get skin, uh, stomach cancer. But we don't really think that's why. Anyway, so then you just drop it in there. But... <clears throat> I have a gas stove, so don't have the string going over the side or you'll have a fire. So I'm just going to throw the whole thing. We can fish it out later. And then we're going to throw in the, the vanilla bean pod. And basically, that's it. Like, this is so cinch. And then when it's nice and uh, like about 15 minutes, you can leave it longer. I'm going to pour some. So hopefully I'll still be here because I have special little mugs for my uh, my mulled wine because then you can tell your kids that it's mummy's juice and, and mummy needs her juice, okay? So that's that one. That was easy. What oh. temperature is the wine? Oh, I've got it at, okay, I, when I first uh, put it, it's a great question. When I first put the temperature or the heat on, I had it so that the honey would melt so it was around medium, but as soon as I saw bubbles, I turned it off, uh, turned it down to simmer, to really low, okay? And if you want, you can put a lid on and then you're really not going to get rid of um, any of the alcohol, but then your house doesn't smell pretty. So kind of your call. Now, if you really, really want it to be really, really spicy, you could do this as a mortar and pestle and you could have done all the spices. Could you use a crock what? pot? You can totally use a crock pot. And I know people do that all the time, but make sure it's really just on warm because sometimes it gets too hot and you, you're just going to lose all the alcohol, right? But I see people with crock pots all the time. The end of the night, it doesn't really taste like alcohol at all. So, you know, your call. Anyway, um, but for sure, you you can use a crock pot on low on warm even you could have done you could have done this where you could have like this is really good for getting a lot of anger out you just smash oh that's all over the floor okay so you just smash that all up and then you could have put that into the cheesecloth and you would have you'll have a much stronger flavor okay that's that one hopefully uh yeah you know what i feel awful i just want to tell you i feel like really horrible like my head is like totally killing me and uh i think i hate my husband right now yeah because he's the germ guy and like he doesn't like i'm in the bathroom like you know with like stuff like disinfecting everything and he's like <laughs> coughing everywhere and i'm like coughing into my arm anyway okay so he's he's in the basement yeah we put him down and in the guest room because I don't want to breathe on. He, I don't want him to breathe on me. Okay, so we'll put these over here. All right, now this. Oh, I'll probably cry when I make this one. Okay, so when I was a little girl, my dad, he loved parties. My father was a really, he loved throwing a house party, right? And he would have neighbors over and it was always, my, my father was, he was a really amazing man. Anyway, um, and he used to make whiskey sours every Christmas and uh, I was too I was too young to obviously drink one um, I even tried sneaking one but they wouldn't even let me do that so anyway in honor of my father and I'm having a really hard time this Christmas um you know my dad died on April Fool's Day and uh, I'm uh, I'm having a hard time and so for all you out there uh, I, I did an Instagram post to my father and um, I wrote a letter to my dad to tell him how much I missed him and, and what I was doing and, and it helped it really really helped uh, so the reason I wanted to make this drink is because I think it's really important to celebrate the, the holidays that the people that we loved celebrated. And a lot of you wrote and told me that you couldn't celebrate anymore. And I'm really sorry for that because, um, I think if we don't celebrate, then we don't honor our people that have gone ahead of us, have died. And so in honor of my father, I'm making a whiskey sour and I'm going to freaking drink it on air. To toast my dad. Why am I holding this? Okay, so 
Okay, hang on. Just, I got to get the ice cubes. So here's what my dad, my dad never did this. My dad used a mix, okay? So that's the wrong ice cubes. Okay, so where are, here they are. Okay. All right, here's my bum. Okay, all right. So my dad never, he just made it out of a mix, okay? So, but I stole this idea from a dear, wonderful mixologist at Christmas in November, which is at uh, the Jasper Park Lodge. And he's a mixologist and he made this with me on City Line. And so I forget his name, so I'm really sorry. I'm saluting you, but this is his idea. So here's the thing. You make ice cubes out of lemonade. Oh. That is a genius idea. And then you pop in two ice cubes per glass. So you have to make these all individually like that. We'll just make two. Well, no, we're not going to make three. I'll just show you the pretty glass. But here's the other idea. I'll do it in this one. So you could make these ahead of time and put them in these little, uh, these are Bernard in uh, jars, the little ones. You could put the two in there. So that's what I'm going to do, okay? So you can make this ahead of time for company that's going to come over, all right? So I just want to put these back in the freezer because they, they, they thaw really, really quickly. So. Oh. Yeah, you know, I, I miss, I miss him. And he was like, <laughs> and he's telling me. That was my dad, everybody. My dad was going, I miss you too. The lemonade ice cubes fell out of the freezer. Okay, he does send me signs all the time. We're gonna go with that was a sign. Anyway, um, yeah, so anyway, make the lemonade ice cubes. Okay, so we did that. All right, now, this is a really, this is a powerful cocktail. I just wanna warn you. So it calls for two ounces of whiskey. And I know we're not supposed to give, you know, shout outs to people, but I love of Crown Royal and this is the one this is the monarch like my mom this is her drink is Crown Royal so that's an ounce and a half but it calls for two. Oh, whoops okay now that was probably that's not even two we'll just give it okay so that's two I'm gonna measure all the other ones okay so there's there's a I guess if you go right to the top that's two right okay that's two I don't usually measure anything and here's another one because I want to show you this really cool idea and I stole this this is a whole thing is all stealing ideas from people um, Jeanette Ewan who's I love she's this wonderful woman that's a regular on City Line but she's also you know you follow her she's amazing uh, she makes drinks signature drinks um, and leaves them at the door for when people come over so that's what this is going to be for so then it's a half an ounce of Galliano and you can use I use vanilla because I think it's got a nice smoother flavor and so far you're seeing that this is basically all booze. Well you'd be right and oh, the wine's doing really well and then you're going to do three uh, uh, shakes of a bitter. One, two, three and the mixologist in uh, at the Banff one he used bit, uh, walnut bitters but I couldn't find any. So then oh now we got to get an orange. Whoops. Okay. Mom oh. says you should be free pouring your own. I could be free pouring. I should be free pouring. Okay, so you're going to rinse off the orange and give it a dry. And then this is a really cool little bar. bar uh, it's called a quenelle, I think. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. It's got this sort of here. Actually, come really close, Bridget. Now, I'm left-handed, but it's for right-handed people. So you see this little part here. You dig it in and you do it over the glass. And what happens is that the orange um, zest, the volatile oils, go right into the drink. Oh, isn't that neat? And so we're going to do that with all of them. Okay, like that. You can see it flying. I can see it flying. So you just stick that orange right in there and then do one over here. What's a volatile oil? Volatile oil is, is the, what makes things smell. <laughs> so... You know when you have a little toot, those are volatile. No, that's not. That's vapors. Okay, a volatile oil. So um, the the peels have oils. A, a lot of but they all have a, like an oil in it. So then you're going to give it a little stir, a little stir, a little stir. And you see that this looks kind of sad, and it's like half a drink. But what I'm going to do with this one is I would make them in advance before everybody came over to the party, and then I would put them in a little kind of a 
a trough and bury it in ice and then when company comes when they walk in the door you can go you know do you want to have one of my signature drinks in honor of my dad or you know I can pour you one of these later okay so that isn't that a neat idea and that was her she showed that on the city line I totally stole it but I didn't steal it I think when you give ideas you just want them to be shared so it isn't that neat that's a cool idea that could just all be filled up okay so we're gonna toast my dad okay so I'm toasting for Bridget Bridget, can you hold that? There you go. This is for my dad. Okay, so here's a toast to all the people that we've loved in our life that can't be with us at Christmas and uh, the holidays. And here's to honoring their memories. Okay, cheers. Mm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. cheers. Mm -hmm. Woo! Oh my goodness. Whoa. Isn't that a fantastic drink? You know what's warming? I think it's good for my cold. I think I'm feeling the heat. It feels wonderful. Okay. Carol McDonald says cheers. You got a bunch of cheers. Cheers, yeah. And if you're not watching this live, like you'll watch it later, raise a glass for who you love because we really have to do that. I, I love um, one of my friends. Her name is uh, Andrea Bucket. We talked about this one time. She does a show on Facebook. You should go over and watch her. Andrea Bucket Cooks Live, I think it's called. Anyway, and she's honoring all her, um, uh, oh my gosh, sorry, sidebar. It is so warm here. I think I found the ultimate cure for a cold. I'm feeling so much better. Um, anyway, she's uh, doing all her family heritage recipes, and I do that too. So, you know, in Christmas and holidays are the time when we should honor the people oh, that we love. cheers to Myron. Ellen says she misses her dad. She oh, her dad, cheers, cheers to, Myron. to Myron. Cheers to Myron. You know what? Just say cheers to everybody, and I will freaking drink for them all holiday long, okay? Hey, I was told I wasn't allowed to swear. That's why I'm safe freaking, okay? All right, so let, let's just check out the wine. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna have, you should never mix drinks, but anyway, whatever. I'm gonna go with the elf. Yo-Yo Max says hi. Hi, oh, I love you. Oh my God, you guys gotta go to her site and check her stuff out. She's the most amazing baker. She makes the most decadent, amazing, yummy things. So hi, Yo-Yo, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, right. And when while I'm telling everybody to do stuff, hey, you yes, gotta watch. You cheers, Linda Spaulding's parents. Cheers to Linda Spaulding's parents. God bless you, and I know you're in heaven watching us. Cheers. Okay, I'm gonna get just bombed by the end of this. Uh, Max says thanks for the shout out. You're very welcome. Um, hey, watch that cheese video that we did. The one on Canadian cheese, it's genius. Three different platters, one for two, one for four, one for a whole bunch of people. It's the easiest way to entertain. I've done it three times this holiday season already. You sit down, you just, it's wonderful. It's instead of dinner sometimes. Okay, here's the mulled wine, let's have a boo with this. My dad drank this every Christmas Eve because my sister-in-law, Valerie, and my brother John always had a Christmas Eve party and he had mulled wine. So this is for dad too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's Aaron really says, good. Did I miss a gin drink? Did you do a gin drink? No, I haven't. I do. I do gin in the summertime. Gin is for summer. Um, you know, in a pinch, of course, I'll have a gin and tonic. But I, I like I like uh, whiskey and, and warmer drinks in the in the winter. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do the draw. Okay. So the draw was for it's a combo. One person gets this fabulous book, Butter Celebrates. Um, Appetite Random House is the publisher, and they get this Breville, not this one, this is mine. You'll get your own Breville mixer. It's it's amazing. It's got all the attachments there for you. You're going to love it. Uh, yeah, it's it's. I haven't got it plugged in, but it's a beautiful, beautiful mixer, and you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Now, I don't think you're going to get it before Christmas, and so I'm sorry for all the people who said that, you know what they were going to do for Christmas baking, but you know what? You can bake going forward into 2018. 2018? When did that happen? One so more you, toast for Mary Louise's dad who passed away May 2-4. Me too, four. Oh, wow. Okay, Mary Louise, Dad, to your father. God bless him. He's up with my dad, hopefully partying. Good. Whoa. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Dad, if you're listening, this is a hell of a drink. A heck of a drink. Is that? No. Okay. You can say that. Okay, good. It's a great drink. All right. So now I'm going to go and pick out who gets all those wonderful gifts. Oh, and oh, you got to know this. Next week... We are giving away something that is going to blow your mind. You are going to want to tell everybody that it, it's it's an amazing, honestly, it's the best thing I've ever given away. It's going it's going to send you off into 2018, so you really have to be a subscriber. These are the perks of being a subscriber. Okay. And all right, so going through this, okay. Next moment. Thank you for everybody who who sent in something. Okay, here it is. Here's the winning one. 
and it is Liz Vlug. I'm going to make some shortbread with this beauty. Love your videos, Marilyn. You already blow my freaking mind. Oh, come on. I love you. Liz Vlug, if you are watching or somebody you know is watching her, no, <laughs> somebody, you, if you know someone, oh, whatever. Anyway, tell her to get in touch with us or we'll, we'll send her a note too. So Liz Vlug, this is your lucky day. You won all this. Right to my left. A frying pan right, right to uh, my left frying pan at gmail.com, right? Am I right? Okay, good. All right. So, well, that was quick. How long? Oh, about 15 minutes. Okay, there you go. So, thank you so much for being so supportive and being my fans, and God bless you all. I asked Santa Claus for 10,000 subscribers. Um, he sent me 100. You know what? It's all incrementally. <laughs> Yeah, you drop still them off somewhere. Time. Yeah, there's still time. There's still time. So tell all your friends to subscribe. Um, I just want to change the world one subscriber at a time. And if we can do that together and make this a better place to live in and to cook in, then I'm happy. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for making this special to me. And um, see you next week. Bye. Merry Christmas. Mm. Lots of Merry Christmases coming in. Lots and lots. Thanks. <laughs>